10-year-old child. Well, tonight, a Grandview man remains behind bars, charged in the highway shootings. 27-year-old Muhammad Whitaker, he faces 18 felony charges. Police matched bullets in the shootings to a gun recovered from Whitaker's home. Whitaker is charged in nine of the shootings. He's being held on a $1 million cash-only bond. Investigators tracked Whitaker for nearly a week, trying to collect information to justify a search warrant and make an arrest. Now, a lot of that critical information is thanks to GPS technology. Lisa Benson is live in the newsroom, and she spoke to a former FBI agent who says GPS tracking is a critical part of surveillance. Well, Jennifer, decades, police used a radio transmitter known as a bird dog to track suspects. Now, new technology makes undercover surveillance even easier. On April 11th, police obtained a GPS warrant from the Jackson County Circuit Court for Muhammad Whitaker's Dodge Neon. Here, you see it being removed for evidence. During their six days of surveillance, Kansas City police watched Whitaker try to purchase a handgun and follow cars on the highway while reaching under his seat and into the trunk. Observations and evidence that would not be present without covert GPS tracking, which causes some to wonder, is that legal and will the evidence stand up in court? You're not supposed to know you're being watched. That's the part of surveillance. I think they did a very textbook investigation here. They moved very cautiously. They used the court system correctly. Uh, no case is ever slam dunk, but it seems to me they put together an awful lot of evidence and I think it's going to be a bit overwhelming for the defense. Last year, the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that the federal government can obtain GPS data from your cell phone carrier without a warrant. Tabman says GPS tracking is an old form of law enforcement that's just getting renewed attention. We're concerned about the overintrusion of government into our private lives. So anytime we hear about electronic intrusion into our privacy, it raises our antenna and we get a little concerned, is it being abused? But many of these tactics have been around for a long time. They just haven't been in the public eye. Now, in addition to GPS, police also use the license plate reader database to search for Illinois plates here in the area, which led them to Whitaker's address. In the newsroom, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.